Whitmer seeded 16th, hosting the 18 seed Sandusky. In the first set, it's the visitors streaking out to the early lead. Madeline Peugeot sets to Natalie Reitman off the block. Blue Streaks take the first one, 25-19. In the second, Panthers battling back. Elena Romer serving up an ace as Whitmer evens the match at one seed apiece, taking the second one, 25-18. The third, Blue Streaks turn. Skyler Haven skies for the spike. Sandusky takes that third by six, but Whitmer not rolling over in the fourth. Ava Gallup sets up Maddie Purs, spikes down the line. Panthers even it up at two sets apiece, and then Whitmer rolls that momentum into the fifth and deciding set. Hayden Harmon finds Abby Kistner for the kill. Whitmer takes it five sets, overcoming adversity to battle back and win in come-from-behind fashion. Uh, we had to mix up shots a lot. This team was very scrappy, and we had to mix up, mix in some tips, some rolls, sh mixing up our shots down the line, cross, you know, just um, showing them things they've probably never seen, you know. He basically told us that we need to be ready for anything and that we need to keep our energy high, and I think those sets, we definitely kept our energy high, and that's what led us to success today. Um, we are so excited, and, you know, just going into the next round, it was a lot of nerves coming in, so I'm, glad, I'm kind of glad we got a playing game to shake them all out, and now we're going into the next round ready to play Northview. With more on that first-round victory, we turn to Steve Ronkowitz and Maddie Klein. Here at Whitmer for this sectional semifinal match between the Whitmer Panthers and the Sandusky Blue Streaks. Took five sets, Maddie, but uh, Whitmer finally able to persevere through this one. Yes, they did a great job really staying mentally focused. They did a nice job bouncing back. Everybody stepped up, and it was a great victory. And they get to advance to the next round of the tournament, and that's exactly what you want. Exactly. At first set, maybe caught them a little bit by surprise, the Whitmer Panthers. That is, as Sandusky came out, I thought had better energy in the first set. Played really well, but the second set kind of shifted just about a little bit. And then uh, it was really Whitmer kind of taking control. Even though they lost the third set, I thought they were really much more in control of the set. Yeah, they really came out and just played their game. You could tell that first set they were a little nervous, so they settled in a little bit. Everybody came in tune. They were in system more. They were able to get a lot more of their hitters involved. And it was just an all-around great team effort. Yeah, and after losing that third set, it was all about the mindset of, hey, this is it. This could be it for us for Whitmer. They had to come back. They won the fourth set. I thought they did it in pretty convincing style, even though when you look at Sandusky, they never gave up. Very well defensive played team. Yeah, they are. They kept a lot of balls up. They kept them in play, but Whitmer didn't back down. They were ready to rumble. They were doing a great job picking up their defensive well and putting the pressure right back on them. Yeah, you get to that fifth set, you never know exactly what's going to happen, but uh, Whitmer really came out with a purpose in that one. They said to themselves, this is not going to happen on our court. We are definitely going to move on, and I thought they really controlled that fifth set. They did. They kept their foot on the gas pedal the entire way and everybody out there believed and they had the energy and the momentum. Indeed. So it took five sets, but the Whitmer Panthers, they move along. They will play the Northview Wildcats on Wednesday. That will